have whatever you want, but I got the first one to know. I've got a canned one there. That's the thing about Seminole pumpkins. They say you can get a huge variety from one, sem one, one pumpkin plant. Really? And look, the squash or the vine board got real bad on to these. See, I got a canned one there. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of. Now, a lot of them are coming. Well, tell my viewers about this beautiful corn. This is my Navajo blue. It's over by Doug's truck, I, I, I pulled him out one. That's just got to be the most pretty of silk. It I've is. Seen. I've never seen silk that color. But here's, here's what I'm after. Is this shape of pumpkin right there? So you cannot have this one. Okay. But what's happening is, like they say, I'm getting all kinds of different varieties. I got that one can one, but the majority of them are coming out looking this side. A regular pumpkin. Huh. So, them are the seeds that I want to take and re redo, you know. Uh, okay. And see, that's got a, this, the, the, that, that is a squash board, or the squash bug. black head on there the only way you can get them out is what you do is you'll find out where you come in you'll take and you'll cut it you'll get that bug out and then just squeeze it back together and your uh, plant will heal itself but you want to cut pumpkins as long as stem as you can okay for storage purposes this is a good example of your three sisters well i got the the because uh, you got your bean crawling up your i got horn. the bean planted late this one here was a little late over here on this one. I gotta do some and you got your squash around the bottom. And I got them all put in the mounds. I got took a, one of my wheelbarrow that's over there and just put one full level one, come and dump the mound in it. And that's how I planted it. And I think I'm doing pretty successful, except my compost wasn't quite ready. And I've had a little problem with it wanting to stand on its own. So I've had to go through and stake some of them up. Mm. But like I said, the squash pours just really, really, really done the damage on it. Put them, they just got the wrong stuff in the wrong package. Because that's what happened to me on on this, because these are supposed to be some sort of a Navajo squash that I got here. Which is a pumpkin is a squash, don't get me wrong. Right. But they're pumpkins. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the bags got mixed up, I believe, because I didn't want to plant pumpkins because I didn't want them to cross with the Seminoles. And then I got these banana, Navajo banana melons there. Is that what this is right here? No, no, that's a, a third kind. That is some sort of a Navajo. Now they're really not, they come from the Navajos, but it's something they cultivated for, you know, a few hundred years. So <laughs> uh, I, I, I have to get the names from them. And then that white one there yeah, I see is it. the watermelon. Okay. The Navajo watermelon. They're supposed to be just ash. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of excited about them. Oh, there's a picture. Wow. Some of my squashes and stuff are not. There's some the zucchinis. And some of them are supposed to be butternuts. But Look at that trellis. That bean trellis. Yeah, go, go take a walk to it. <laughs> Do y'all remember the first time I showed you that trellis that my brother had planted all those beans on? We're going to go take a walk through it. Oh, Tears, we got rattlesnake, 
turkey gizzards, more trelateers, Potawatomi lima. I've got some of them growing in on it, going the inside. Potawatomi lima beans. I'm excited to get them seeds. And then I've got a, oh, something I bought up that Kansas City place. It's an heirloom, but it's a Christmas. It's a red and white bean. I think they call it a Christmas lima. And then the cow peas down there, they're good. Yeah, some of them are ready to harvest. Yep. Black eyed peas is what they look like. And this is all from one pod. One pod of seeds that you give me. I got three or four plants. Right on. Got a bunch now. <laughs> Rattlesnake, I'm going to try me a couple of rattlesnake. All in this, except for these first few, and all the ones I got at the other house, but they ain't really producing it. We got them in late. If y'all haven't seen my video on atomic grape cherry tomatoes, Go back and look it up. It's really quite interesting. Atomic grape cherry tomatoes. Look at the color on those. It's just beautiful and they cluster. Do you know what kind of cucumbers you planted? You don't have to use them as quick. Now I know the ones she got, we got at home are straight eggs. Hmm. Then they're the long, dark green ones. Well, not real long, but they're you know they look like eggs. Yeah, the one you gave me is just like that. Those with the kind of the white on them. Yeah. And I still have that one sitting on the table, and it's still firm. Just they was the stuff on sale from the Amish. I just, Ooh, that's the instant heat there. I just took a little tip. I didn't get into the uh, seeds, but it's hot wise, medium. It'd be good for cooking with. <laughs> Not the look on John's it'd, face. It'd be super hot to me. If it's super hot to him, it'd kill me. Was it August something? First of August? First week of August. Everything seems to be going good. We wait till these, these die and, and the ears will start uh, getting real brown and turning toward the ground. That's when you know it's harvest time for them. And uh, then we'll be working on uh, braiding them up for storage and I'll show y'all how to do that. And, and uh, harvesting the beans and how we take care of all that. And, them are some of the Seminole pumpkins that we got. Some Navajo pumpkins are the bigger ones. Uh, I'm not able to take care of this garden as well as I am the other one, but it's doing all right. Don't dog on you.